Guests are headed to Australia for the 80s Mania Tour and Peter Cox and Richard Drummy join us now from London. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Oh, we're very excited to have you here. Peter, you taught Australia. How do you like our, how do you like our, our crayon drawing of Big Ben behind us? <laughs> you know, here? it's very realistic. You guys are artists. <laughs> <laughs> it really is Big Ben. It really is. It is Big Ben Parliament. Now, guys, you tour, you've taught Australia a number of times over the years. This is a big tour. All the bands coming back together. Are you excited to be coming back? Absolutely, Absolutely yeah. We rehearsed that one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were like, we, we're going to see if we can do it like, like yeah. synchronised. Unison. <laughs> yeah. Now we always have a blast when we come to Australia. We're yeah. really looking forward to it. Oh, well, we are looking forward to it as well. Richard, it seems like 80s music basically just never ages. I mean, you are still drawing massive crowds at, at your shows. <laughs> Look at you. Exactly. Case in point. Why do you reckon, and it's obviously our era as well, why do you think everyone still loves 80s music so much? <laughs> no, it's not just because of us. Um, I just think it's good songs, you know, good singers, um, played well, and uh, yeah, just just that's it, really. And, and people coming to shows. We were talking to a journo who was here while we were waiting to come in. We should get him in. He could answer that question a lot better. But he said he said he thought it was a time where couples went to gigs a lot more. It wasn't just guys going to see you 2 or, or whatever. Yeah, true. So, uh, yeah, all of those things. Um, Peter, you know, you've been performing together for such a long time and your voice is really iconic for a lot of us out there, uh, especially for those of us who wanted to learn how to sing. We learnt off you. Um, you both started at a <laughs> fairly young age. That was a where, mistake. <laughs> where, where did you know you were a great singer? Uh, I don't think I would say I'm a great singer even now, but uh, I, I was in the choir at school. Um, my school had a connection to Hampton Court Palace. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but... Uh, King Henry so, VIII and all that. Uh, he used to not, wear, like, a three-corner hat. And uh, King Henry VIII road. wasn't there when I was in the choir. But, uh, <laughs> it's not that old. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, I've, I've been singing, you know, I've done the, the white version of the gospel thing since I was 12 years old. Really. Yeah, that blue-eyed soul thing was really so big in the yeah, 80s. It, indeed. Let's talk about some of your dance moves from those early music videos. No, let's not. <laughs> well, no, no, what let's. A terrible idea. No, let's. <laughs> They are, are yeah, impressed in our memories. Wrench, everybody. <laughs> Look at this one. We're looking at the clip for, for Call Me right now. Very impressive. I'll get my coat. <laughs> Do you still get as animated on? Have I, got, have, have I dived through the window yet? That was me. <laughs> Did you really but dive through the window? Do, it wasn't me doing the summer. Yeah, I dived through the window. I, I insisted on going through the window. But it's not me doing the somersaults, unfortunately. So, is there going to be a lot of stunt work on stage? When you he was in the up? ambulance at that point. <laughs> yeah, I was in the ambulance at that point, yeah. Well, will we expect, you know, the animation? Will you be that animated on stage when you come down? Well, definitely try to bring some energy. Yeah. Um, we, we have up-tempo songs, which a number of our contemporaries don't necessarily have. Yeah. So we try to, uh, yeah, bring the energy. <laughs> for as long as it lasts. <laughs> you guys are killing me. No, we like so to good. hit the ground running, you know. He won't do any slow ones, because sometimes people talk during them, so we won't, probably won't do Goodbye Girl. Because yeah, yeah, he goes, yeah. they're talking. I go, well, of course they're talking, because they can hear each other during this one, you know, but anyway. It kicked off in November, so, yeah, this tour, and there's energy. a lot of big acts there. Some of them might do a ballad or two, but no, you guys won't, but you've got Paul Young, well, Taylor Dane, who we spoke to this week, cutting crew who are you most looking forward to catching up with well we've already worked with we haven't worked with taylor before so it'd be nice to to uh i don't know what i'm looking at the floor for <laughs> oh, uh, it'd be nice to work with... <laughs> yeah thank you yeah. uh it'd be nice to work with uh to meet taylor dane we've already uh, done a lot of work with paul uh, and Cutting Crew and Wang Chung. But they're either going to be Cutting Chung or The Wang Crew. Got, they all <laughs> the Wang Crew is a different thing altogether, Richard. <laughs> is it? Is yeah. It? Can we, will we have See? to cut that? Will yeah. That no, no, yeah. I think we oh, leave that in. I, I, guys, uh, I had to say it was a great thrill. I, I, as I said to you before we started recording, you're one of my favourite bands of the A's and I can't wait to see you guys here. Thank you guys for coming God in. God bless you. Cheers, David. And Appreciate tickets for, are on sale now uh, from Ticketmaster from Tuesday, March the 21st. Go see this 80s pop show. It's going to be great. I think we're there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> see you. So great. <laughs>